Thank you, Nick, very much. Can you please tell us a little bit about um, the novel biomarkers uh, that you have uh, discovered to do with DHA? Yes, uh, neuroprotectin D1 is a stereoselective derivative of DHA that is made on demand. And as such, this biomarker could be very interesting in early developmental studies, in nutrition studies, as well as during aging. And the reason is because it's very susceptible, for example, to oxidative stress or to injury or to other conditions. So there are other markers, as you know, that will be around uh, and will change in, in concentration. Here we have one which is an all or known uh, amount and, uh, that appears in, in the system. And the good news is that we found this also in the blood, in the plasma, circulating plasma. It's also in the CSF. Of course, it's, it's produced selectively in tissues in response to these conditions. So an injured response would actually have a high concentration and a normal physiological uh, situation would have uh, no concentration? Yes, but it's a subtle biomarker because it's sensitive to factors that tend to disrupt homeostasis. So very early on, when homeostasis will be disrupted without damage, then we see that the synthesis of neuroprotective D1 goes up. And, and the factors involved there are, are interesting because are the growth factors, the neurotrophins, NGF, and all of these susceptible uh, regulators of cellular integrity and homeostasis. That's why I like to talk about uh, that we have here a novel modulatory mechanism of the immune inflammatory system rather than an anti-inflammatory. This is not an anti-inflammatory. This is a modulator early on at the very beginning of having disruptions of the balance in, in, in the biology. Thank you. You're welcome.